Okay, everybody. Uh, look on the screen. You can see Kevin here, Mr. Wonderful, um, also on Shark Tank. So he was on the news. Uh, you see here on the screen, it says 60% of America consists of small businesses, yet we're giving nothing to them. As the Fed continues to raise rates, things will start to look very interesting over the next few months. So take a listen to this clip when he was on In the news last week. Is this new influx of money from the president's program that passed a couple of years ago going to not help the little guy? Well, let's think about it. We've got the Chips and Science Act. Where's that money going? Behemoth giant companies in the S&P 500. The Inflation Reduction Act, another trillion, not even printed yet, all going to the big guys. Now, that's great. They represent 40% of the jobs in America, the S&P 500. Everybody knows the S&P 500. It's the biggest yeah. index in the world. But 60% of America is small business. That's where 60% of the jobs come from. We've given nothing to them. And so they're struggling because the Fed has raised rates up to 5.5% in a matter of months. To stop inflation, theoretically. Right. And yet we still have full employment, under 4% un unemployment. So the small guy, the business between five and 500 employees, he's been cut off at the regional bank level. They're not lending. The loan books closed down. The rates that he pays for money Higher. have gone from 4 to 5% to 11 to 17 wow. And we're not talking about them. But you're going to hear a lot of people crying about this in the next few months because they can't borrow anything anymore and they can't run their businesses. So when we saw those uh, regional bank failures last year, yeah. uh, this is the ramifications, more regulation. And when you have more regular. Okay, so he's talking about the banks, but did you hear what he said? They can't run their businesses. So let's see here. That probably explains why you probably can't get the raise that you deserve. Probably explains why that, guess what? Some of these jobs, they're trying to do a two for one, a job that normally took two people to do it they're trying to make one person doing it and that's what's happening you wonder why you can't get a cost of living raise this is why the big guys are getting all the bucks the little businesses 60 percent of america consists of small businesses that's where 60 percent of the jobs are reportedly coming from but guess what only the 40 percent the s p is getting all the money so you wonder why everything is going up except the paycheck because the small businesses guess what they've been cut off from the banking loans remember svb uh silicon valley that bank and i said before if you look at it they changed the rules and banking regulations they change it which is a good thing because you don't want you know people had like millions of dollars in the bank but if you look at it they changed the rules to accommodate them okay big money they're not gonna have those people being poor Okay, they all knew 250 was a maximum, but again, you don't expect a bank to fail in general. So my question is, you wonder where is the help for a little person? If the little if the small businesses are having a hard time right now, they can't grow. More than likely some, some more may shut down. But now you see where all the money goes. You, you get it? Now you can see where all the money goes. The money is going to the ones at the top. I tell you, it just makes me feel sometimes that maybe it's all rigged. So the American dream, guess what? That's what it is, a dream. Because the reality, the reality is it's not obtainable. So, yo, you heard it from Kevin O'Leary. I'm sure he knows a little something about money. You think, you think, you think? And you wonder why the paychecks, everything is going up but the paychecks. You wonder why. And I also think it's my opinion that the big companies get all this money. Listen, they're not worried about the worker. I'm sorry to tell you. It's my, again, it's my opinion. What they're worried about are the owners, the investors, and the shareholders. The worker bee. I'm sorry. I, I really feel that they don't care about us. So wanted to share this quick tidbit with you guys. Let me get back to getting my relaxation on. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Simply said on YouTube and I'm out.